Hey guys, it's Sasha, and in today's video, I'm showing you all how to have your very own DIY summer staycation. Not all of us can go on vacation over summer, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bring the vacation to you. And before we get on with the DIY summer staycation, I just wanted to give a big thanks to Kool-Aid for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. super fun activity that you can do at home this summer is to have a DIY slushy station. So all you need are some fun cups, straws, and of course, new Kool-Aid sparklers. Kool-Aid just came out with a brand new refreshing bubbly drink that is perfect for a slushy. So my friend and I just had some shaved ice and we topped them off with the new Kool-Aid sparklers. She used the cherry flavor and I used the orange flavor and they were so, so good. The Kool-Aid sparklers come in several different flavors and you can find them where you find Kool-Aid jammers at your local grocery store. So don't forget to try new Kool-Aid sparklers. I am seriously obsessed with them and you will be too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats a classic summer water balloon fight, but a fun way to spice up a regular water balloon fight is to dye the water that is going to go inside of the water balloons. So the container that my water balloons came in also had a pump. So we decided to fill up that container with water and then dye the water whatever color we'd like. Then we put the pump back on top and started filling up the water balloons with the colored water inside. But we actually decided to color coordinate our water balloons and water. So the orange water balloons had orange water, the purple water balloons had purple water, but we actually didn't have any pink food coloring, so we put blue water inside of the pink water balloons. So you can mix and match however you'd like. It's seriously so much fun. Then once all of the water balloons are made, it's time for the real fun. My friend and I decided to wear white t-shirts when we did this. That way when the water balloons popped, it left really cool watermarks on our shirts. <gasps> It was so cool to watch the water balloons like pop and explode with really fun colors. My friend either missed me and they landed on the ground or they popped on my legs, so I didn't really have a lot of color on my t-shirt, but my friend's shirt turned out so cool. And by the end of the whole fight, I was basically trying to purposely pop the balloons on her. That way they'd create a cool pattern. And boy, let me tell you, it worked. Her shirt looked like she had tie-dyed it. It was so cool. And my shirt didn't turn out that bad, but hers was just that much better. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely recommend you have a fun colored water balloon fight this summer. One of my favorite things to do in the summertime is to have backyard campouts. I do this at least once a year every single summer and I just think it's so much fun. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just put up a tent in your backyard and fill it with pillows and blankets and all of that fun stuff. And if you have a fire pit in your backyard, you can turn that on and you can have s'mores. S'mores are my all-time favorite. I am obsessed with them. So you and your friends can gather around the campfire, jam out to your favorite songs and make s'mores. And then after you are done making your s'mores, you can go into the tent and sleep outside, which is so cool because it's you feel like you're on a camping trip, but you're actually like right by your house and you don't have to go anywhere. So we just decided to watch some TV on our phones. Of course, I totally recommend you go have a fun backyard camp out this summer. One fun thing to do this summer is to just simply go hiking. Hiking is great because it gets you outdoors and it keeps you active. Plus, it's also a great way to take advantage of all of the beautiful things that your city has to offer. So I would totally recommend getting up and going on a hike this summer. Well, that is 
all for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe button down below. And while you're down there subscribing and liking, make sure to leave me a comment letting me know if you are or are not going on vacation this summer, and if you are, where are you going? If you haven't already, make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Sasha Morga because I'm constantly posting stories and photos so you guys can stay up to date with my everyday life, so make sure to go follow me. Alright, well that just about wraps up this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Deuces! She said that she a wanderlust, but she ain't seen the world so much to do at 21. You feel invincible, so hard to find someone to trust. She